What's up you guys, it's Cody coming back at you with another video and today we are removing the door trim off of the other side of the truck but this time we're gonna do it right. So if you guys saw my other video removing the door trim on the passenger side, let me show you guys that real quick. For those of you guys that missed it, you can see on the passenger side that we do not have the door trim that goes right here. If you guys saw that video, then you probably remember that I just went ahead and went for it and pulled it off and um, it worked out okay. I mean, everything seems to be okay. I used some rubbing compound on the paint in the end and everything looks fine, but the process was terrible. It was super hard to get all the goo off, especially because uh, I just pulled it off. I didn't have a rubber eraser wheel like I should have, um, but this time I do, okay? So this time I have a heat gun that I got from Harbor Freight for super cheap, I think like $10. I got a heat gun from Harbor Freight that we're gonna use to heat the door trim up before we pull it off, which hopefully helps the goo separate better, uh, prevents any paint from pooling, and makes the goo super easy to get off. And then this time, like I said, I have the rubber eraser wheel. Now I tried, uh, checking several different auto zones in O'Reilly's and nowhere had this in stock so I had to order it on on uh, Amazon so that's why I finally have one it came in the mail um, it's been a couple weeks I just haven't had time to take this side off um, but we're gonna go ahead and go for it this time we got the heating gun and the rubber eraser wheel so hopefully the process is much easier this time uh, last time it was like a two-day process hopefully it's not that long this time um, so let's go ahead and get to it Real quick, you guys, before we get into it, if this is your first time here and you enjoy this video, please make sure to hit that like button. Uh, leave a comment down below what you guys thought and hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. I'd really appreciate it. We're trying to hit uh, 3,000 by the end of this month, 3,000 subscribers. So I'd really appreciate that if you guys enjoy it. Also, let me point out that I did get the radiator hose that is an upgrade from the stock one. This one goes around the serpentine belt as opposed to through it. So we do have this video to do. We're gonna throw this on. Uh, I can't do it right now because I just got home from work not too long ago. Um, as you can see in my dirty work clothes and dirty work boots, but uh, I just got home not that long ago. So obviously you don't wanna be pulling off any radiator hoses while the truck is hot. Um, probably gonna have to do that on the weekend when I wake up in the morning when the truck is cold and go ahead and take off that hose and do that. So that'll be another video. Um, but again, stick around for that. All right guys, so let's start heating this thing up and then uh, see if it comes off easier. All right, you guys, the trim is off, as you can see. Now, I will definitely say that I noticed a little bit of a difference using the heat gun. It was kind of easy. Um, once you get the trim off the door, you can put the heat gun behind, inside, and on the glue while you're pulling it away and just keep... You guys saw in the, in the, uh, in the time lapse how it worked. Now, last time... One thing I did notice, by the way, is when I uh, did it cold last time, it, left a, it took a lot of the glue off of the truck like this which um, this is where it can get risky and you can pull your paint off. Using the heat gun, the glue separated. Rather than pulling off of the truck, it just separated in the middle. So we definitely have a lot more of the glue residue left on the side of the truck than we did before. But last time, if you guys remember, I used this lamb's wool wheel uh, on the drill and I used it with some goo gone to take this off. And it, it definitely worked, but um, everybody says this rubber eraser wheel is the way to go. So we're gonna test it out and see if uh, See if it's any better than that lamb's wool. Now, when using this rubber eraser wheel, you do want to kind of keep the pressure light. You don't want to push down real hard because uh, you don't want to burn your paint. You want to move around a bit. So that's what we're going to go ahead and do. I'm not sure how far you can tell from there, but um, the 
glue residue is completely gone. What you're seeing here is like the dirt and the other remnants left behind from being under that uh, trim for the past 18 years. But the rubber itself, I'm sorry, the glue itself that held the trim on, man, we wiped that away in about 20 minutes with this eraser wheel. It took way longer last time with this um, lamb's wool. Uh, it took way longer, even with this and the goo gone, it took a lot longer than that. This thing going in the opposite direction and kind of pushing the glue off. So you would be going like, um, this is clockwise if you're looking down at it and going this way and pushing the glue off it, it came right off as you can see it leaves this like remnants this powder uh it's similar just like a pencil eraser it leaves this um yeah this little flakes like a pencil eraser on a paper does um but that wipes right off now we're gonna go ahead and see how well it works for this so far it didn't seem like it worked as good on this dirt and stuff as it did on the glue um, but if it doesn't take it off very good, then we can go back to the lamb's wool with the goo gone because that did work really good for this stuff. But let's go ahead and test it out. So the rubber eraser didn't work very well on all this dirt and grime that was underneath the trim. Um, I tested it by itself. It didn't work that great. I went ahead and sprayed some goo gone on there. That just made it worse, but it didn't work in the first place. Anyways, it worked really good for the glue, but it's not working really good for this uh, dirt and grime. So we're gonna go ahead and go back to the lamb wool and the goo gone for this part. Um, you guys can see if you missed the last video how well this works. There you go, as you can see, it's still not 100% clean. We gotta do a little more, but you can see that it works really good. That was about 10, 15 seconds, maybe 20 seconds of using the lamb wool with some uh, spraying some goo gone on there and that really helps get the dirt off so that rubber eraser wheel if you want to get that helps a lot for the glue um, if you want to go to harbor freight and grab these lamb wool wheels they work great for the dirt all right you guys so check this out all right this is why we make these videos right we experiment we try different things we see what works and when i find something that works i want you guys to see too my drill died okay so i wasn't done cleaning this up and my drill died unfortunately i only have one battery for it um, so I thought, let's just try cleaning it up with the rest with a uh, rubbing compound. Maybe that takes it off very, relatively easy. And it seriously does. Now I knew obviously I used the rubbing compound on the other side after I got everything off with the lamb's wool uh, wheel. And there was just a little bit of remnants left on the outsides. I used the rubbing compound. I used it to help help uh, blend the paint and stuff like that. But I did not realize how easily it takes all this dirt and grime off. Okay, so check this out. Look at that. Comes right off. I mean, it's easier with this rag and some compound rubbing compound than it is. Hopefully the camera's not shaky. But it's easier with this than it is with the freaking drill and uh, lamb's wool wheel, okay? So this takes this stuff right off. Look at this. The, um, the goo gone and that lamb's wool didn't even work nearly as good as this does. This just takes it right off and, you know, it's gonna help us blend the paint in anyways. We're gonna clean, after we get all that off, we're gonna go back with the dry rag, clean all the compound off, and then put fresh clean compound and work that in to blend the paint. But as you guys can see, this is working great. And there it is, all done. And again, if you guys saw the last video, you guys are gonna really be able to tell a difference. This process went way easier. The tools we used, like the heating gun, the eraser wheel, um, and that rubbing compound are really the three main things. Sorry, it's down there pointing at nothing. <laughs> the rubbing compound, those are really the three things that really help get this job done. Um, I didn't need the goo gone at all for this side, and it came out a lot better than the passenger side by using the uh, rubbing compound to get everything off. Um, as you can see, I didn't do that one yet. So we'll go ahead and get to that, but I won't get it on video because it's obviously 
the same process. So there you have it. Uh, as you can see, it's all done. Um, like I said, I'll take care of that one after this video. But yep, that's pretty much everything you guys need to make this job go uh, relatively smooth. The rubber racer wheel really helped take off all the glue. Uh, the heating gun to take the trim off probably does help your paint a lot it will thank you and the rubbing compound gets the rest of the dirt off so like i said we're gonna go ahead and take a clean side of the rag and uh, go over that one more time with the rubbing compound really help blend all the paint and uh, that's pretty much it so again i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can see future content on the 7.3 if you're not already following me on instagram follow me on instagram same name as youtube at adhd projects okay the number 80 hd projects and uh catch you guys on the next video